Bonjour et bienvenue chez French Sounds. Welcome to French Sounds. Today we're going to work on a couple of issues brought up by my YouTube subscribers. We're going to work on pa, ba, ta, da, and ka, ga in word initial position with the nasal vowel on. Let's talk about the on first. For anglophones, it's a relatively easy vowel to get. It's like an OH sound, O, like a long O, but you drop the soft palate and uvula to allow the air to flow into the nasal passages to nasalize the vowel. So, o, o. Okay. And now, for the consonants, for these stop consonants, you have pa, ta, and ka, which are unvoiced, and their counterparts, ba, da, and ga, which are voiced. The voiced consonants have vocal cords that vibrate during the articulation. You hear a little buzz or a little uh, vibration sound while they're articulated. One problem with the unvoiced pa, ta, ka for English speakers is that in English they are pronounced with aspiration or a puff of air that can be heard when they're in word initial position. For example, in the word pout, you hear a pout. But if you were to put an S in front of that word, you would get spout with no puff of air. And it's that type of articulation without the puff of air that you have in French for the unvoiced stop consonants pa, ta, and ka. So one way to avoid that puff of air is to imagine an S in front of the word. Another way is to simply release the stop consonant more gently. Let's work on some minimal pairs. Pon, bon. Ton, don. Con, gon. And now let's try a sentence. Ton dompteur bondit sur le pont pour contenter le gondolier. And a little faster. Ton dompteur bondit sur le pont pour contenter le gondolier. Très bien. Keep up the good work. And remember that French Sounds offers private lessons online through Skype and iChat. And the first 30-minute lesson is complimentary. Merci et au revoir.